Hello, we're making honey butter. We started with two sticks of butter and put it here in this mixing bowl. Two cubes of butter in a 2500 ml mixing bowl. It's making quite the sludge in here. The cubes of butter have been left out to become nice and soft, so they're nice and malleable, like and we can not mix like them that. up. And I show you how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, you do not know how to do this. And as long as I can pretend that I don't know how to do any of this stuff, she will make the whole honey butter for us. Okay, right here, and today, why? Quite, and until one, one, and then anytime you see that run around and come back again, like a blah 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 blah, blah <laughs> you know, hitting them. Okay, so it, it's all pretty much mixed up anyway. No, it has to be white. One way only, don't don't come circle because no air in there. You have to go like this. Yes. Not like that, Chris. Tell him. Now you make everywhere. Oh, God. What the? In the world. This is butter. Butter tends to stick to the sides of the bowl, ladies and gentlemen. See? Look at how I, I do. Why you don't do like I did? Yeah, see that? Okay. That's wonderful. It's done. No. Until they're white. Butter yes. is yellow. How is it going to become white? They were white. They were white. Stir it, Chris. I am stirring it. If you ask me, I'm doing okay. It. Okay, the butter nut, the butter shot, the butter scotch. We're going to add one shot of butter scotch. We're not going to advertise the brand, but this is Butter Shots, and it's Butterscotch Snops. I'm my, I'm, I'm hurt. Mixing butter like this can lead to fatigue. As you can tell, her arm hurts. Here we go. Okay, a shot. No, half shot, sorry. Half a shot. Well, I guess we're going to have to do something about that. That's it. And now she's adding the honey. This is one container of honey that we purchased at the mm -mm store. It's about three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of butter, of honey going in here. You know, I think it's time for another one of these. Tablespoons. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Three eyeball tablespoons of honey have gone into here, and now I'm going to take over the mixing okay. of that. It's a little easier to mix now that there's some liquid in here. Make sure to get it off of the sides so that everything mixes up nice and uniformly. Maybe do some figure eights as you're mixing it. And, and now she's going to grate some... Stir! What are, you, what are you grating in here? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Nut. This is nutmeg. This, my hand is getting tired doing it because it's angled. May I please turn the bowl and get this nut, 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 nutmeg nice and mixed in here? Thank you. Here we go. Now, as you can see, the nutmeg grater can be inserted right back into the drawer without cleaning it. That's how good this nutmeg taste it. is. Taste it first. Uh-oh. Now I'm going to have to taste it. I'm gonna slap you with that. <laughs> mm. Notice that I know where the Ritz Crackers, and this is an op unopened box, mm. and so more, we will more, cover more up more the honey. brand name so you don't have to squeeze see that. Squeeze more honey. And squeeze more honey. Mm -hmm. And that's a five tablespoons. Okay. Another five tablespoons. No, two more. Gonna be five total. Okay, let me give one more. Good. Out of this. That's it. That's it. Squeeze the band to the shit all over already. Done. Fed. Okay. Notice how she says that it's done. We will not reveal the brand name of these Ritz crackers. Okay, now. That's it. And you're not going to cook it on the stove or anything? No. That's it. And then they're rolling the. I'm on a roll right now. She's on a roll right now, ladies and gentlemen. What are you doing? 
growing him. Here we go. I'm going to have some of this. Mm. How's that? Good cracker. Here. No, how's that? You need some. What are you going to do with it? She's placing a piece of cling wrap onto our cutting board over the unnastyified sink. Can I, can I eat them? Notice how easy it is to take a cracker out of one of those cases. Mmm. Mmm. Good cracker. You like that? So to do this, all you do is take a cracker like so, and you take some of this honey butter, and you put it on, and you smooth it out, and voila. Mm. There's a bit. The secret ingredient here is going to be... Say it again. The ingredient, secret ingredient is... You taking lemon peel and Yo, grating it. Scratch. Hmm? Scratch. What is it? Scratch. Scratch. He's it. obviously taking a lemon and putting it over this grating here. Okay, now you smell it. Hold on, let me do that. Well, since I've proven once again that I can't stir for, for crap, she's going ahead here and doing the stirring it. job. Now it smells like it has some lemon in it. Mm -hmm. Taste better? We will find out if it tastes better. I noticed that I still have some of my shot of butter shops that back here. And so... Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, some lemon juice goes in there now. You don't have to eat the whole box of Ritz crackers. In fact, it's recommended that you take some croissant and maybe heat that up in the toaster okay. or some toast. Oh my god, look at that. Mm. Smell better. Yeah. Mm. This is Pam eating a cracker. Incidentally, mm. these crackers only have 135 milligrams of sodium per serving. And it says here that a serving is about five crackers. So, if you do the math, that means each cracker has about, uh, what is it? <laughs> Duh. Uh, the, um, each cracker <laughs> has about 27 milligrams of sodium. And now she's taken everything out of there, and I can lick the bowl. And she's put it down in the plastic wrap, and she's probably going to make a big package out of it and throw it at me. And you're quickly seeing why this is why the internet was invented. Taking it and rolling it up in the plastic wrap, and we're going to put it in the refrigerator like, refrigerator like this so that it hardens up a little bit like regular butter. And then they'll just take it out and use it like butter. Right, dear? Yeah. Mmm. This is one of the easiest things you can make, and it's so much more enjoyable than your regular run-of-the-mill butter. And you can do this at home. It makes a great Christmas gift. Mm. Then, da da, da. da, -da.
Put it in the refrigerator. Now you can stick that in any of a number of places, but it's best if you would like to eat it later sometime, to put it in the refrigerator. Perhaps 